Okay, so now here they want us to find intercepts, but they didn't factor it for us this time. So it's in general form, um, and we get to factor it, so that's exciting. Uh, we can write f of x equals, and then what I would do is I would look at it, you know, as a trinomial, and I would factor it as x squared uh, minus 9 and x squared plus 5. That's what I would do. Um, you pull out your old factoring skills. There's other ways you could start the factoring. I'm not done. We want to factor it completely. So x squared minus 9, that's the difference of squares. x plus 3 and x minus 3. And then that x squared plus 5, that doesn't factor over the real numbers. So we're not going to go to the complex numbers because uh, we're graphing these and thinking about these in terms of the real number system. Okay. Um, I didn't really explain where the minus 9 and 5 came from, but remember you're thinking of two numbers that multiply to be negative 45, but add to be negative 4. So if you need some help refreshing on the factoring, um, Khan Academy or the tutors can help you or let me know. Um, anyway, that's the way it factors. Now, we want to find y-intercepts, or the y-intercept. Which is the easiest way to find the y-intercept? Should I find it from the general form? or the factored form that I just did. It's probably going to be easier to use the general form. So f of 0, 0 to the 4th, minus 4, 0 squared. I don't know that you have to write this out, but certainly could. That's going to be a 0, that's going to be a 0. Looks like I'm getting negative 45. Oops, negative 45. So the y-intercept is at the point 0, negative 45. That would be the y-intercept. All right, now what about the x-intercepts? Well, basically, we're setting that factored part to 0. So when does this equal 0? When x is negative 3. When does this equal 0? When x is 3. When is this going to equal 0? Uh, it's not, not over the real numbers. <laughs> so, so that one's out. Okay, so you, you can write x, plus, x squared plus 5 equals 0. But think about it, you take any uh, real number and square it, it's going to be a positive plus another positive, you're not going to get zero. Okay, so we just get two uh, x-intercepts here. One will be negative 3 comma 0, and the other one's going to be 3 comma 0. So that's the way that one worked out.